All right, what's up YouTube? Uh, I'm working on the Vino Classic again today. Uh, actually, just changing the uh, air filter. And while I was looking around the scooter, I found some stuff that concerned me. I noticed, uh, let's see if we can get a better picture of this. The coolant reservoir right here, you got the F and the L, full low. Um, I don't see any coolant in there. Uh, so I figured I'd take off this little servicing panel right here. You got the battery, spark plugs back there. Coolant reservoir is right here. And uh, so I got to there, I realized I couldn't see much. So I figured I'd take off the top of the radiator right here. And I found this. So you'll notice there's a brown residue in there. Um, from what I can tell, the last person to service the radiator got rid of all the actual coolant and just filled it with water. Uh, it was just kind of frustrating because it's all corroded through here. I popped the top on the coolant reservoir. You can see it's, uh, it's brown in there. Um, full of rust. You can smell it. It smells like rust. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this panel off and try to figure out where the hose connects to this from the radiator back here. And uh, I'm going to drain the radiator, which you'll see. Here's a little drain plug right here. And then I need to figure out again where the hose connects over here to this coolant reservoir. I'm going to try to drain that. I'm going to flush it out. I got some uh, distilled water right here that I'm going to use, use uh, to flush it a few times. And then I got some of this. This is the smallest, cheapest uh, coolant I could find at, wa at the Walmart I went to. All right, you can see how disgusting this stuff is that I got out of the radiator. It's just straight up rust. I don't, I don't even know. It looks like they just took tap water and put it in there. Um, hopefully there's not too much corrosion. We'll have to find out. Here's the plug. I wanted to show the plug because it's got a really fat um, Phillips opening. I did not use this one. This one's really thin. Um, it's very important that you use the thickest one. This is the one I used. Hopefully you can see that right there. Uh, fit in there really tight. Uh, it's very easy to strip this plastic thing. Uh, drain plug and it's got a little rubber o-ring on there too. Um, ideally it'd be great to replace this. I didn't know I was going to need to do this so I don't even have any of these parts. Uh, I'm going to eventually replace this. I'll probably order that this week. Um, but still, like you can see all the rust in there. It's disgusting. I'm going to try to rinse this off a little bit more. I wiped it down a little bit. And uh, once this all drains out, I'm going to, like I said, flush it with the distilled water uh, so that hopefully it won't cause any more corrosion in here while we rinse it out. Then I'm going to put the actual coolant in there. But uh, this is a shame, you know. This guy probably saved seven or eight bucks on, uh, I think I paid seven bucks for that coolant over there. This thing only holds about a quarter of a liter, if I remember correctly. Or no, a quarter of a quart, sorry. A uh, quarter of a quart, you know, and that's, that's ridiculous. All right, update status. Um, been draining this oh, quite a bit. I'm just putting the drain plug in barely in, filling it up. Coming out lighter and lighter every time. The coolant reservoir right here is so dirty that I'm going to take it out and clean it now, but this whole thing was locked down like Fort Knox. I mean, this daggum thing took me a good hour to get apart, and I mean, this scooter's missing half the screws anyways. Uh, it's like you have to take this off, to take this off, to take this off, then you also have to take these little side things off. Here's the one I had to take it off on both sides. And then it was, this uh, floorboard was clipped in up here. I was afraid I was going to snap the thing. I had to pull the battery out. <sighs> I really want you to take this to the dealership, I guess, but not for dealership prices. I mean, this is too cheap of a scooter for me to be doing that. But I'm going to, there's two screws holding this in from what I can tell. Right there. I'm going to take those out. I'm just going to wash this in the sink. Um, I've been draining both of these. This thing's disgusting. This thing's still pretty bad. Um, Actually, here I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's like my fourth or fifth drain. So it starts out clear, 
And as it gets to the bottom, it gets a little bit dirtier. Oh wow, this one looks a lot better than the other times. Finally, you can actually see through the water. So we're getting somewhere with that. Uh, I haven't even done motor running flushes yet. Like I, this is so disgusting that I realized I was gonna have to flush out the radiator and the reservoir, coolant reservoir right here individually. This one I'm just gonna have to get pull out and completely clean. And uh, this is a good sign. It's not as orange as all the other times. I mean, it was just coming out clay colored. So this is good. I can see through it now. I might do one or two more flushes on this. I'm gonna rinse this off in the sink and then put it all back together and put some coolant in there. Run that for a little while and then I'll probably dump that and redo it. Alright guys, I uh, haven't put everything back together yet, but I pulled out the coolant reservoir, cleaned it as good as I could, um, put everything makeshift back together just so that I could uh, run some, uh, some more of this distilled water. I've gone through the whole gallon just about, uh, trying to flush the radiator, um, and now I've got it all hooked up back together. I'm just right now I'm trying to burp the radiator, get some of this water to flow through the engine, flow through the cooling system, uh, hopefully get some more dirt out, whatever, flush out this water, and depending on what it looks like, I'm probably just going to put some coolant in after this. Alright, got the scooter started and just had the coolant go down so we'll top it off. There we go, got a little bit of spill, we'll clean that up. right there. 